One of the great joys of working with an artist's estate over years to bring a show to fruition is the opportunity to make an acquisition for the collections. The work behind me, Marianne Unger's monumental eight foot tall shanks from the years 1996, 1997, now has a permanent home in the collection at the Williams College Museum of Art. It was one of the great acquisitions of my early career so far, and I'm so glad that Williams students and our visitors, both who come through the door and who attend our programming virtually, will have an opportunity to experience the power of this stunning piece. Mary Ann begins her compositions either in paper or in dimensional form in plaster always starting with the minimalist grid. As one of the great post-minimalist of the 20th century, she uses the grid in a similar way to Agnes Martin and the wonderful Eva Hesse, imbuing the grid with an emergent line through imposition, through tessellation, to come to natural forms that are spare, geometrical, and somehow still lyrical, poetic, and universal. To make shanks, Marianne took a one inch by one inch grid of steel and she pressed her body against it, molding and folding it, and then welding the seams, reinforcing with two inch steel rods all the way down the various columns, and then once she had the form that she desired, she took lengths of cheesecloth that were dipped in a huge bucket of industrial hydrocal plaster and began wrapping, or what she would call bandaging the forms, up, 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 rounding out the top and working down again. These moments in the facture or the surface of the piece that seem to our eyes to be abrasions, our scars, are actually the armature coming through. The armature is so close to that surface. There's no chiseling here. The process is additive. For after that wrapping with cheesecloth dipped in hydrocal, she would then pour liquid hydrocal on top of these structures, giving them shape and meaning by continued press of her own hands and the totality of her body. So that these works become a record. They become, as Rosalind Krauss writes, an esclite feminine, a feminist writing, a fragmented totemic form. One of the beauties of this work is that in this gallery, it is posed opposite seven works by Marianne's daughter, the wonderful artist Eve Biddle, who is also the co-founder and co-director of the Wissaic Project, a unique community for artists and for community education in Wissaic, New York. Very, very close to Williams. And I'm also happy to say that Eve's work brings her mother's legacy into the 21st century in unique and audacious and aspiring ways.